Hey there, Astra here. Yeah, welcome back for another exciting uh, session of drawing with me here at Vico on the Vico app. If you haven't checked out the app yet, please be sure to do that. We can certainly watch videos of uh, myself and the other Vico teachers on YouTube. However, for our live sessions, you have to come onto the app with us. We have uh, yeah, live classes. You're able to chat with, with the teachers. Uh, yeah, I'm always looking for feedback. So uh, you can certainly influence how our drawing sessions go. And uh, tell me what you want to see. We can, uh, we can certainly arrange that. Okay, so uh, and what, else, what else would you find on Vico? Uh, not just fine art, but a whole range of subjects. Uh, if you like science and technology, yeah, we've got classes for that. If you like learning new languages, we have that. Oh my goodness, if you like to play instruments, if you want to learn how to play guitar or piano, we have classes for that. And dog training is coming, as well as we have yoga and ballet and storytelling. Yeah, there's a whole range of stuff. Go to vico.com and check out the schedule. All right, what are we doing today? I'm sure you're wondering. Uh, if you've joined me in the past, you, you see that, yeah, usually I, I love to do animals. That's a big, uh, big favorite subject of mine. We've drawn other things as well. We've drawn cars, we've drawn uh, landscapes and seascapes and, and different types of drawings. Um, so I was thinking for today, uh, we're going to go back to a favorite. I would say maybe a fan favorite because a lot of people are fans of this uh, type of animal. It has a special name too. Here, so hang on, let's, let's bring the picture. We're drawing dogs today, everybody. So I looked up specifically American breeds. Okay, so yeah, maybe you're not aware of which breeds are American. And wh what is a breed anyway? A breed of dog... Uh, has been um, their the parents get chosen by people. Yeah, people are involved in the creation of these new types of dogs. They pick and choose, um, you know, who who's the who's the father, who's the mother, and they create these litters of pups and puppies. And yeah, the dogs can have certain traits that people are looking for. So uh, I this art piece here uh, features an American pit bull dog. Uh, so it was from World War I. And I thought that was pretty interesting that the, the, the American pit bull is representing, of course. All right. Do we know what these are? Yes. Yeah, some people maybe you've heard of the Alaskan Malamute. So they are a breed of dog from Alaska. It has, <laughs> the, it has the location in their name. And they uh, they're a cousin of dogs that you might know of. Maybe you know about the Siberian Husky and uh, what other kinds. There's, a, there's one called the American Eskimo. I think they might be related. I'll double check that. Um, uh, and the, oh, the, there's, a, there's a breed of dog called the, Sa if I'm saying it correctly, it looks like it says Samoyed, but I've heard it might be pronounced Samoyed. Uh, it's a yeah, big fluffy, fluffy white dog also from Siberia. We can do that. So get the ears on there. Look, we. This is a good one because it's, um, it's symmetrical. So what's happening on one side is happening on the other. Again, that's the one that's like right over my head here. That's the one I'm focusing on. Now, uh, what are the features of the Malamute? Yeah, they have pointed ears. Some people will say they look rather wolf-like. And after all, uh, dogs descended from wolves. All the dogs, yep, even little little chihuahuas, all the dogs in the past. Yep, they had wild ancestors. All right, so I've got the shape here. Uh, I'm going to sketch in. See, I'm just drawing very loose right now. Yeah, the roundness of the blue part. And then it's dark right there. There's the pupil. Don't forget the pupil. Now there's some light parts of the eye. So be sure to not fill in everything. Okay. So there's our eye. See how I left a little white spot there. 
here. Don't uh, don't fill everything in. Don't destroy it. All right. It looks, yeah. If you can leave little little outlines and things, it's gonna be you're gonna be successful, I believe. All right. How about the other eye? It's similar to the other one. It's it's similar as it is symmetrical. There's that leaf shape. And how about, it, yeah, the other pupil, since it's such a dark eye, it is a little tough to see it. So figure that it's similar to this one. They do have to match in terms of uh, the size, if not the color. So, all right, so do the best you can here. Okay, uh, that works. I'll fill this in here. Yeah, sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes it, you might, it might not look completely even, so see if you can even it out a bit. That's okay. Uh, also, when I go in with the brown, if I decide to do the odd-eyed thing, if I if I color it in, then then it'll match up well or not, because <laughs> it's odd-eyed. All right, so here's the nose. There's this. There's the split. Yeah. And. Uh, again, don't don't you know? Just don't go back and forth. Don't go horizontal. When you're using marker, especially, yeah, you can paint the fur in, basically. So make make your uh, pen strokes, marker pen strokes, go in the direction that the fur grows in, and you're going to have a really nice effect. Yeah, marker's pretty fun and quick. Yeah, the gray works really well. So yeah, if you've got gray marker, you're set, I think. And the black would help as well. So what you could do with the black is you can start getting in there and adding more fur. So you could do that really dark fur that, that, that goes over here. Yeah, see again, go in the direction, go in the direction of the fur and it'll, it'll work out. All right, there's some here. There's some more dark fur in here. Yeah, so yeah, add your extra details. We're going to wrap this up pretty soon. And also look for a color for the eye or two colors for the eye rather. If you want to make it that... <coughs> that odd-eyed effect. Okay. And yeah, what, what else the, uh, the, I think I mentioned earlier, the Malamute will be thicker, uh, will be a bulkier looking dog than the other breeds like the Siberian Husky that one is more built for uh, speed. It's a, I, from what I understand, it's a smaller type of sled dog. All right, so let's get that blue eye in there too while we're at it. I'm trying to find a nice blue. Maybe a little bit of this. Okay, I'm outlining it with this blue. Sometimes you don't have to fill it in all the way because I don't want to lose that lightness there. However, the dark eye, I've got a copper colored marker. Well, not, not metallic, but just a brown, rich brown. And yeah, this works pretty well. So now I'm getting that. There's the odd eye, you see? Blue and brown eye. Awesome. Okay, I think... Uh, yeah, that works for a first drawing for today. Okay, I hope, did it work out for you? So here's what I'll do. I'm starting with the ear 
and there's one triangle okay then uh, here's a line that connects the to the ears so we've got the other ear on the other side another triangle okay how's that now uh, more shapes okay so what's what's another shape we see the shape of the head I'll use a circle for the base of the head but then it's got its muzzle its face right and it's kind of rec kind of like I don't know is that a rectangle or a triangle a little both because what I see is this comes down and then there's there's its muzzle, right? Yeah, so what we what I just did was I I broke down its face into these basic shapes. All right, this is this is a technique that artists use. You know, just try to look at the basic shapes. All right. Yeah, we need to be we need to be kind to animals, that's for sure. Okay, so I've got the two ears. All right, how about based on this, what about the rest of the head? So I see the shape of it. See, look at the cheekbone. See how there's a cheek on one side and that's gonna happen on the other. There's another cheek, you know, the face, you know, just the sides of its head. And then it comes down and you see the shape of its lips it goes up and down and up again see it's like two little bumps down there one and two there's the muzzle that's its face and you can see its chin in between how's that is it working out so far yeah maybe though maybe you want to get the other details in. You want to get the um, the nose and the eyes. I know sometimes you've seen me approach it different ways. You've seen me approach it where I do the um, eyes and nose first. See, there's, there's no real set way you have to do anything. Okay, and then we're going to make a foot of the puppy a puppy paw puppy paw time <laughs> all right so what's going on with the puppy paw i see a little claw so see get the get the little little dew claw that's that little tiny like a thumb all right and you don't have to make them sharp or anything they're not like cat claws but they are visible so yeah you probably want to include them okay so here we've got the bottom of the paw and a claw there see so you can shade it if you want now it looks like the bottom of its foot i think in my opinion and finally its tail the tail what it, what's doing what's what the tail is doing is it comes out it curls and what we'll do is we'll make it go like that so you make like a banana or a moon and then you bring the other side so what's happening here is it's curled. The tail is curled and going this way. All right. Fantastic. So uh, just now, I'm doing a little more shading because yeah, we're, we're pretty much uh, at the end of our hour of drawing American dogs. So we drew the uh, the pit bull, pit bull puppy, and we drew the Alaskan Malamute earlier. Uh, it is floating in a black void. It's just in space. So yeah, but if you want to put it someplace, just you can make a slight shadow underneath it, so that your puppy's not just floating around in in space. Okay, and otherwise. Yeah, I hope to see you. Ho yeah, hope you come back and draw with us some more. Okay, and you know, follow us on YouTube and, of course, on the app. I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Happy drawing. Don't forget to download the Vico app available on the Google Play Store and App Store. Click below.